And my next guest is none other than Baltimore's own comedian, Tom Myers. Love comedian Tom Myers. He's going to do some stand up Tom Myers. Hey, love, Tom. Love comedian Tom Hey, Tom. Tom. Oh, hello. How are you guys doing tonight? Everybody having a good time so far? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in kind of a weird mood myself. I was on my way down here. I stopped at a convenience store. I'm waiting in line to pay, and the guy in front of me puts down a dozen donuts, two big bags of Doritos, one of those cheapo one-gallon bottles of the generic brand Fruit Punch, and a nasty, old, rotting banana. And he turns to the clerk and says to him, my girlfriend just had an operation. She can only eat certain things. I look at him. I look at him and I go, yeah, right. What, did she have a bong hit transplant? <laughs> that guy's in here right now, isn't he? Oh, shit. <laughs> so it's an election year. It's an election year. You guys all excited about this election coming up? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Me, me, I'm an Obama person, but me, I kind of, part of me kind of wants Hillary Clinton to take the Oval Office. No, 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 okay, okay, hear me out, hear me out. What's the first thing Hillary Clinton's going to do when she gets in office? Get back, get back, no, get back at Bill for all the shit he pulled. That's why I'm going to apply to be an intern. <laughs> I quit smoking the I quit smoking though, so I don't know if that'll affect my shot, but uh. when I was in school I studied history. My favorite piece of history to study was the American Revolution. Why do I like studying the American Revolution? Well, I like it because not because it's the laying of the foundations of democracy or how ordinary men can rise up to fight against the evils of tyranny. I like that people were able to grow an incredible amount of pot back then and get away with it. That's why I love studying the American Revolution. Yeah. All those who really support me behind that are going, I'd applaud. I just don't feel like lifting my arms, dude. <laughs> they don't like puns, I don't think. They don't like the puns. Okay. And a lot of advocates who want to legalize marijuana use that too. You ever notice that? They say, well, we should be able to grow pot and smoke it because our founding fathers grew pot and smoked it. Our founding fathers, the same people who had to physically fight for the right of this country to exist, smoked pot? I don't think so. How do I know this? Because I've tried pot, okay? Remember, I did take this course in college. I'd love to, ma'am. I'd love to, but if I tried it, I know that me and anyone else who has smoked pot can tell you after you smoke pot, you do not feel like going off and fighting a revolution. If everyone smoked pot back then, Paul Revere would be galloping down the street like, I think the British are coming, dudes. Luckily for me, I got enough. I can share. <laughs> You guys have been a great crowd. That's my time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tom Myers, a comedian. Hey, all right. Now, Tom, I'd like to ask... Three cool questions. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Myers. Destruction. Yes, apropos, uh, very apropos. Apropos meaning like kind of like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like somebody said, or I figured out what it meant tonight. Apropos. Um, <laughs> Tom Myers. We all learned something. Wait, is the CD on sale uh, somewhere? Uh, it's on. It's on sale uh, back there. Oh, cool. Back there. No, um, thank you very much for coming out. Thanks, man. Appreciate Ladies it. Tom Myers. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Uh, coming up very shortly, a musical set from Human Host will be playing at the Talking Head this Saturday. The Human Host, the musical guy. Thank you, folks. I have been Ed Schrader. This is Connor Kaiser and the Ed Schrader House Band. Josh this has been the Ed Schrader guy.
This has been the 25th edition of the Ed Trady Show with Jason Will and Tom Myers and the Human House. Welcome back. Shh. Yeah.